हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर एजुकेशनल चैनल फोकस्ड ऑन साइंस एंड मैथमेटिक्स डिजाइंड स्पेसिफिकली फॉर दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर टीचर रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जाम्स एस्पेशली दी अपकमिंग एच एस टी आर एग्जाम दी हाई स्कूल टीचर रिक्रूटमेंट एग्जाम यू मे नाउ बी थिंकिंग दैट वाई इज मैडम टेलिंग अपकमिंग एग्जाम now as uh, all are telling everyone is telling that because of elections the exam will be conducted after 4 to 5 months now maybe this is true because uh, now code of conduct will be coming soon in this month only i think by end of this month code of conduct will be coming so government cannot release the notification and because of uh, uh, some of the clauses like uh, dpar clause which is to be present in the notification because of uh, those type of problems the notification has been withheld it seems so all are expecting that as soon as the election will complete and the results of election come the notification will be coming so basically everyone is telling that exam will be conducted after 4 to 5 months i know that it can be very disappointing when exam is postponed because you have been working hard to prepare so much and it can feel like a setback when uh, this type of news is come but i want to remind you that this extra time can be a gift if you choose to use this time wisely instead of feeling discouraged you can see this uh, news as an opportunity to sharpen your skills to review your notes to take your preparation to the next level because every extra day you have to study you can make a big difference if you have so much time right so you will have more time to get to know the syllabus properly you will have more time to ask questions you will have more time to discuss you will have more time to clarify anything that you were finding confusing till now so according to me you can take a deep breath stay positive and you must keep going with this preparation of hstr exam because this is a really very important examination for us right so you can take this time as a gift and uh, you can buck up if you have not studied till now you can start studying from now if you have been studying from long time then you can utilize this time to sharpen all what you have studied till now okay so you use this time to stay motivated focused and you need to definitely stay dedicated towards your preparation okay and of course i am here to support you every step of the way okay i'll be there with all of you till your examination okay in fact all the paid class aspirants everyone i have told everyone that you can watch all the classes all the classes till your exam date okay because our channel is dedicated to providing you with the best possible resources and guidance to help you in succeeding in this very very important exam okay that's the reason why we have planned for this hstr paid classes for physics maths as well as chemistry biology aspirants also so we have pm method classes and cb method paid classes also okay we are definitely committed to providing you with the in depth explanations pdf notes and practice worksheets that will surely help you gain the confidence develop your skills in order to uh, make you all stronger in your concepts okay and to excel in this examination so whether you are a first time exam taker or an experienced teacher who is looking to upgrade the skill on subject uh, based on concepts our channel is the perfect destination for all your teacher recruitment examination preparation not only hstr we have been taking free classes for gpstr karnataka tet as well okay now let me answer one frequently asked question aspirants keep on asking me madam which book i have to read so the answer is here 
if you are a physics and maths method aspirant then you need to read ncrt or state syllabus books of class 9 class 10 puc first year and second year and uh, very few important topics are from bsc as well okay and uh, and for mathematics you need to practice problems and you need to clear the concepts from class 8 9th 10th and 11th means puc first year only so much is enough for uh, mathematics okay but then you will have to go in in depth of high school textbooks that is class 8th 9th and 10th from class 11 only few chapters are there like uh, matrices and determinants is there sets is there okay few chapters are there from class 11 also okay but then you need to take care that when you go for class level you don't need to go for je level or k set level okay you need to stay below that only okay you don't need to go for a very tough type of questions because that will also be waste of time only right so you need to start from basics every time okay and if you are a cb method aspirant for chemistry you need to go through uh, textbooks from high school puc first year and a few topics are from puc second year also very few topics from bsc are also there okay and uh, for biology to of course you need to study everything uh, in high school and in puc first year uh, second year very less is there portion is very less from second year but then you need to be perfect with 9th 10th standard okay now actually uh, if i be honest even icsc books are very very useful but then icsc books are not available for free they are not available uh, for public use for free because uh, it is not from government right so ncrt and state syllabus it is from central government and state government so we have option to download these textbooks that's the reason why i am not mentioning icsc here okay because again you will have to spend lot of money you will have to purchase lot of books but here in case of ncrt and state syllabus you don't need to do that okay now i have bought few tips on how to use this uh, books effectively for hstr exam preparation first to is you need to start with basics these books cover all fundamental concepts in all subjects okay so you need to start reading these books from beginning because this will help you to build a strong foundation of knowledge in your subject either it is physics maths chemistry or biology okay then you have to take notes of the key concepts and uh, ideas that are being presented in the textbook this will help you to retain the information and uh, make it easier to review at the time of revision okay next is you have to solve exercises and practice questions these books will contain a range of exercises and practice questions at the end of each chapter so you have to make sure that you will work out all these exercises and questions and this will help you to test your understanding and also this is a very good strategy to prepare for the examination okay of course if you have doubts then we have telegram channel you can join the telegram channel you can share your doubts you can discuss there okay and you can resolve all your confusions from that particular topic okay last and very important step is revise regularly you don't need to wait until the last minute to start revising just make sure that you take some time each week to revise what all you have studied in that week okay in this manner you can easily crack this examination with a good strategy and a good preparation okay now i will show you how to download these textbooks okay so stay tuned and uh, watch carefully how i am downloading the, these textbooks i'll be using two websites one website will be of the ncrt textbooks another website will be of the karnataka state board textbooks okay i'll be giving the link of these two websites in the description below this video just you can watch carefully how i am downloading the textbook then you can follow the link which i am giving in the description and then you can also download these textbooks in your device okay uh, preferably 
it will be good if you download it in a laptop because it will be easy for you to read also right you cannot take printouts of so many books okay so you can make different folders you can make one folder for class 9 one folder for class 10 one folder for puc first year and one folder for puc second year with the subject names either it is physics it is maths it is chemistry or biology you can uh, maintain with the discipline the different folders it will help you in reading the textbooks okay so come along with me let us download these textbooks see i am here uh, this is the ncrt.nic.in textbook dot php okay the link i'll be giving there in the description okay I can also give this link in the telegram channel also no problem so you will go to this website if you click this link okay now you can select the class here for example i am selecting class 9 okay select the subject for example i am selecting mathematics then you can select the book title which you want mathematics is there ganit is there riyazi is there actually this ganit means it is in hindi riyazi means it will be in urdu we need English book, right? Mathematics in English we want. So click for mathematics. Okay. Then click go. So you will have this list of these books. Okay. Either you have option to download one single single chapter. You can download one single chapter or you can download the complete book. It is up to you how you want to download. Okay. You can download the complete book or you can download the single chapter. For example, I will download this first chapter. I will click on open. So I got this thing. Now this is the first chapter of class 9. Now I can click this down arrow mark. This see see carefully. I can click this down arrow mark. So I will have a option to download. Okay. I can save with any name. Whichever name you want. Like you want class 9. Class 9. Chapter 1. Okay. And you can save it. Like this. Okay. So this is how you can download the textbooks from this NCRT website. Now let us go for Karnataka website. This is the Karnataka website. This link also I will give in the description. Okay. Don't worry. You can go uh, in the description and you can click that link. You will get uh, this website here. So you have this uh, choose class slash Taragati. So you can use any class you want. Uh, but the thing is no, this website it will not give you PUC first year and PUC second year books. This proper website which I am giving no. This will give you books till high school. Okay. So better you go for NCRT website for uh, PUC first year and second year. That is class 11 and class 12 books. Okay. Actually. NCRT and Karnataka state books they are same only only wrapper they will have changed okay the content will be same only so I am going for 10th book now um, this thing I clicked 10th and choose medium Madhyama we want English medium right so click English and choose subject whichever you want mathematics part 1 part 2 science part 1 part 2 whichever you want I am clicking mathematics part 1 okay now you have option to textbook download this textbook fully see i will click this full textbook download so i am getting this book because this is a huge book right so it is taking little time to download uh, now i think it will be downloaded it is done the blue line is going to finish now ah then that's it it is done so this book is of 184 pages and uh, this is the book okay class 10 book see what all chapters are there in this arithmetic progressions triangles pair of linear equations into variables circles areas related to circles constructions coordinate geometry and real numbers okay you can click this download uh, arrow mark and then you can download it okay now uh, many paid class aspirants ask me this doubt whether madam which is the proper textbook you are using to make the paid classes See, the answer is I cannot save one name because I am not using any one single textbook. Okay. If you are a paid class aspirant, you can even cross check. I have showed you the website now. You know how to download the textbooks. You can download the textbooks and you can match with my classes. You will not find similar things because I am not using only one proper book. I have a library of books which I refer and uh, 
I with my experience decide what type of questions may be asked okay because see my intuition goes correct every time you have seen it in GPSTR and Karnataka TET also okay so in that way you can trust on me because my intuition uh, goes very well that is because of my experience okay but then I am giving you these textbooks for reference that is for your preparation if you are a paid class aspirant then don't worry you can simply go along with my classes if you have more time even after attending the class after practicing everything from my notes after reading everything and after practicing from the practice worksheets if you have still time then you go for these books from the ncrt and the karnataka state books okay uh, okay friends uh, i thought that uh, this is very much needed right now because many of you are demotivated only because uh, people are telling that hstr exam will be postponed see according to me we don't need to get demotivated we can take this time as a good opportunity and keep our preparation on okay in the notification if all the clauses are settled then we will not have problem in the future because the gpstr aspirants you know how much they all are suffering after preparing and writing the exam and cracking the exam after getting the job also still they are not able to get the call letters they are not able to join because of a few clauses in that right so that the problem will be overcome now so that way it is good only right see we will prepare we will write the examination again if it will happen like gpstr for hstr also that is also a drawback only right that time also we will feel very sad right so it is better that all those delays are happening now only at least we will use this time to prepare so that after the examination and after the result we will not have any other delay in the call letter okay so this is uh, what i feel friends so what you all feel please do write in the comment section and uh, don't worry i am with you all till your examination and all my classes either they are free classes or they are paid classes no class will be deleted till your examination you all have access to all those classes okay okay then Thank you. All the best. Bye.